Hello Gun Nation, Big Johnson coming at you. Alright, got the Ruger 2245 Tactical. Does have the V3 tandem cross, I'll show you here. Got the Shadow Mount V3 from Tandem Cross on here. This was the tactical. I took the rail off, put their mount on here, and I've got the primary arms RS10, I believe. Haven't even dialed the dot in yet. But uh, this looks so much cleaner than having that big old large tactical rail and also gets it a little bit lower uh, on, the, on the bore. Uh, and this is the tactical, it's heavier. I've got the TLR1 on here. Also, Tandem Cross came out with the new Game Changer Pro. And I have the Game Changer Pro, but now they've got it in gold. It's a tin coat. So that's really awesome. But as far as accuracy, this whole thing is crazy accurate. Way more accurate than me. Got the lock grips on here. Had those custom done. They are thickened. So, and this is unloaded. Uh, do have the Apex trigger in here and uh, the Halo charging handle from Tandem Cross. But let's shoot it, let you see what it does. Man, I love 22s, they are so fun. But everybody says, Why do you have a comp on a 22? That's so stupid. I want you to watch this comp do work. It throws that gas up, you're going to get some flames out of it. But if you can shave off seconds, half seconds, whatever. If you're transitioning from target to target, why not run it? Why not use it? No, not a big deal. If it gets dirty and crappy and all the nasty stuff, clean it or take it off, throw it away, put another one on there. But let's go ahead and run it. Did y'all see that gas is just pouring out of that thing? This actually helps it escape, so it keeps it even flatter. So why not run it? Now check out the slow-mo.